Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jack here, and today I am presenting you with a massive LEGO Ninjago mock built specifically for Greg and Clark at the Brickatech channel. If you don't know who they are, they make awesome content. It's pretty much summed up like this. So yeah, but this mock is so big that it's actually impractical to record inside of this studio, but I'll figure something out. However, let's get into the meat of the video itself, which is the mock. So like I was saying before, this mock is absolutely massive. It's not built on a specific base plate, which allowed me to create some extra terrain, which really you can't do when confined to a certain square. I guess you could say there are four distinct areas of this mock. There is the temple itself, the wrecked Destiny's Bounty, the cliff, and the beach. And unlike you would think, I didn't use a bunch of large pieces to create this terrain. I used a bunch of small pieces, put them together to make something large. That way I could add extra depth and more texture, which you can't normally achieve with something gigantic, so that's a plus. The beach is the only area where I used a snot technique to create the terrain, and that is so that the water in the shoreline is curved, because I absolutely hate square edges in something that's not built on a base plate. The sand is very rough, because I used a bunch of angled plates, jumper plates, and a bunch of different pieces to create a very random effect for the sand. The terrain then transitions into what you would call the cliff. There's a bunch of rocks and a few patches of sand and dirt and foliage and that just leads up to the upper portion or main attraction the temple i styled it after the temple of light because i really enjoyed building that set a few years ago when i got it so it was a good nostalgic experience for me to build something like that i also enjoyed making the slant roof because that's something i rarely ever do so that was a very fun thing to do japanese architecture in general is just very fun to build but anyways next to the temple there is a wrecked destiny's bounty i decided to build just because i wanted something to complement the temple itself so it didn't look so lonely up on the cliff. But other than that, I think that is pretty much everything about the mock. I really, really enjoyed building this. I did a little bit of it live so people could see my entire building process, and I really enjoyed making something like this, something that was different than buildings I normally build. So, Greg, if you're watching this, I really appreciate it. And Jinblade, if you're watching this video, I hope you had a blast watching it as much as I had a blast making it. So, thank you for watching as well. And for everyone else, as always, thanks for watching. If you're new here, subscribe, and most importantly, take care.